I'm going to be doing a little bit of a haul. Arlo, my puppy, has decided that he is going to join and help me go through everything that I shouldn't have bought because I should have been buying dog treats, right? Yep. So if you have stuck around for a while, you will have known that I have a small obsession with Lush and I had the absolute pleasure of working there over this summer. So over my summer there, I found some new favourites um, and on my last shift I purchased some of my new favourites which I'm now going to share with you guys. So one of the first things that I had tried when starting there was their eyeliner. Now they used to do lots of different colours of eyeliner and I do wish I had been more into makeup when they did do that um, because now they only do the plain black colour. I think you can still get the coloured ones online. So this is just a plain black liquid eyeliner. It's called Independent um, and this one is completely vegan as well. I've been wearing this um, pretty much every day I've been working there to kind of showcase the product and also it's a really good eyeliner. So I'm definitely going to be purchasing this after I've stopped working there. I also have the Eyes Right Mascara which is also vegan and again I've been wearing this pretty much every day I've been working there um, and it's again really good and it's like £15 um, and I think the eyeliner is £15 as well so pretty decent price for a good product. Then I also picked up one of my regular things to buy which is the American Cream Conditioner. Now with curly hair it is quite difficult to use the solid conditioners so I wish I could because wasting more plastic doing it this way um, but liquid conditioners are always going to work better with curly hair. This one isn't vegan um, because it has lanolin which comes from sheep's wool but that's what makes it make your hair so so soft and it smells like strawberry milkshakes. It's so nice, your hair smells amazing. So I've actually got two of these in the big, big bottles. I have stocked up. To go with that, I do have a solid shampoo bar, which is the honey I washed my hair. So again, it's got honey in it, so not vegan, um, but I'm trying to aim as, as vegan as possible. I didn't used to like this at all, but it's such a sweet honey smell and over my time working there this summer, I have just fallen completely in love with this thing. It's so yummy. So I'm very excited to use that. I also picked up a bar of the Avocado Co-Wash, um, which is like super conditioning washing soap for your hair. It's not shampoo, but it washes your hair with it being very conditioning. It smells very, very sweet and very yummy and again very excited to try this in my hair. I have tried it before a while ago so definitely looking forward to that. Then I picked up a bar of the one of the gourmet soaps which is the Rose Argan soap. This is quite expensive, it was £15 for this block. It is quite a sizeable block though um, but it is a much more like luxurious soap. Um, it's really really nice. I'm not sure whether this one is vegan or not. I can't see anything that would be immediately non-vegan. It smells like the rose argan and rose jam and all that kind of sweet stuff. Along the same lines I picked up a Lush Mechanic um, cold press soap. I love these so much. The Mechanic is my favourite smell. It's, I don't know what it's meant to smell of, it's just really nice. I also find these ones last a lot longer because they've got the pumice in there and um, so it kind of helps your skin to feel a wee bit softer and they last a bit longer. Then I treated myself to a few things that I wouldn't normally pick up. The first thing is this massive bottle of perfume. This was £80. £80. Very expensive but very worth it. <laughs> this smells like Christmas cake. This is the cardamom coffee and it smells like Christmas cake. This is going to be amazing over the winter period um, and I just love it so much. This was definitely one of my treat yourself purchases. Along with that one I wanted to buy another one um, and I got a little one of the Rentless um, which is, I've got it on my arm, it's a very kind of smoky smell very nice indeed. I had great trouble picking my second one because I wanted one big one of the cardamom coffee and like another one whether it was a big one or a small one um, and I just it was so hard to decide but I ended up going for the rentless in the smaller version. 
Then again, two more things I wouldn't normally purchase. I got one of these scrubbies, which is a little body butter with um, bits of almond, I think, ground up almonds in it. Um, and again, has honey in it, so not vegan, um, but a very, very sweet honey smell. I would just be found lathering this on my arms almost every day. Very excited to use this properly after a bath and feel the full benefits. Along with that, I got my favorite massage bar which is the Wiki Magic, which is a really like cinnamon based one with a like peppermint undertone. So when you start rubbing it onto your body, the peppermint smell starts to come up a little bit more, which is really nice. It's very warming on the skin. I also picked up two things for the bath. And um, so I've never tried the Carol's Cauldron. So that is what I bought myself. And um, this is like slightly more expensive. It's about twice the price than the other bath oils. Um, but it is a bath oil and then you pop it in in its little like muslin and it just kind of goes into the bath. Are you enjoying the smell of this one? Hmm? Okay, you just sit there. But yes, yeah, so I'm very excited to try this one out. Um, like I said, I've never tried it before um, and it's meant to be very, very relaxing. So excited. And then I also got one of the brand new under the umbrella tree bath bombs, um, which has got loads of Epsom salts, which are all the little bits inside. Um, it smells like the Breath of God perfume as well. Um, and it's meant to be packed filled with essential oils. So I'm very excited to try this one, especially cause it's brand new and I've not tried it yet. Um, and it smells really nice. Took me a while to decide whether I liked it or not, but then I put on the perfume for a day and was like, no, nope, I like that smell, that's a good smell, happy with that. So gotta pick up a little bath bomb of it. And then the last couple of things I bought was one of the big bottles of the Rose Jam Shower Gel, which smells like rose jam. It's very juicy, very rose smelling, very yummy. It smells like Turkish Delight. It's so nice. Of course, I also had to get a Happy Hippie, which is one of my absolute favorites of the shower gels. Um, it is like a grapefruit smelling. Uh, it's just so, so good. Oh, it's one of the only like citrus fruit smells that I can stand and it is so nice. I love it. Then I also thought, well, I really shouldn't use shower gel as shampoo. You can use it as shampoo, but I should probably actually buy a shampoo as well. So I got the Daddy O, which smells like Parma Violets, which is so, so good. It's not really designed for my kind of hair. It says to keep gray and blonde hair bright and shiny, and I neither have gray nor blonde hair, um, but it smells too good not to use. And the last thing, which also smells like Parma Violets, is Sunny Days, which is a anti-static hair detangler, which basically, it just makes your hair less frizzy and it smells pretty damn good too. So yeah, I've been just like popping this into the like palm of my hand and then like running it through my hair um, and it's been really good. Still not gonna take over my one true love, which is R&B, but this is a pretty good contender. So those are a few of my favorites from working there for a month um, and kind of discovering things, discovering new things that I didn't think I would enjoy, as well as a lot of old favorites. I of course did sample and try out a lot of other products while I was working there um, and I would love to be able to share that knowledge with you guys. Um, especially I did a whole like foot routine um, with my dodgy feet, which was nice. So now I'm going to go and enjoy an early evening bath with some of my new products and try them out. Especially, I think I'm gonna use the umbrella under the umbrella tree because that just, it smells so good. I cannot wait. But anyway guys, if you have any questions about any of the products that I showed today, um, this is of course not sponsored. This is just things I bought with my mom money um, and things that I genuinely do really enjoy and love and can't wait to try out. Anyway, I hope you're having a fantastic day and I will see you next time guys. Bye.